This week, Leah and I are taking RV life to a whole other level. But we won't be doing this on our own, because we're going with my parents, as well as our five-month-old baby. And to top it all off, we're doing it in the winter. All right, team, so <clears throat> we, we decided to go winter camping. <laughs> with a five-month-old. And, and here we are. <laughs> Holy cow. Hello team and welcome to our next big family adventure. Today we are heading over to the mainland to pick up our RV from Canadream to then begin a crazy road trip adventure that probably none of us are gonna forget. Adventure, <laughs> Like a businessman going into a meeting. Hi. All right, so we've arrived here at Canada Dream, which is a RV rental company based in Canada, obviously, <laughs> and uh, they're going to be giving us a RV for the weekend so that we can go winter camping at a ski hill with my parents. <laughs> Not just us, five of us. There she is. There you are. <laughs> there it is. Look at this behemoth. <laughs> the weirdest part is this whole time they keep referring to Paul as like the main guy. It's registered under his name. They basically ignored that I was here. It's like they think that he's my father-in-law or something and like he's the responsible one. <laughs> Dude, Paul, come on. All right, so since Paul's the boss, he's gonna do the uh, quick check around to make sure everything is okay. And then we'll give you a quick tour before we get on the road to head up to the mountain. This turns oh, into a bed, good. too. I can see myself drunk and late climbing up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at that bed! Look at that! Holy! That's amazing. I would totally rent one of these. And I can hear, feel the heat. Yeah. There's look, heat on. Like, I don't know yeah. what's going on. Look at the size heat. of this. Uh, oh, what? did anybody bring a crib board? Yes, I did. Yeah. Oh. Thank there goodness. Go. What the heck? It's the fresh prep van. Look at that. John, my guy. Oh. Get in here, <laughs> dude. This is John. John is a rep for Fresh Prep. They are making this whole video possible and they're delivering a whole bunch of meals for us to eat while we're in this giant RV. <laughs> so uh, let's get this stuff unpacked. Look at this cool van. Cool, come check it out. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Dude, there's so much. Yeah, it's a lot. This is also something I, I, for you guys. It's wow. like a uh, little on New Year, right? Tomorrow? Oh, yeah, that's so true. I'm going to give you guys just some of the Oh, yeah, that's great. Alright, y'all. This is our, our, our first annual RV family trip. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's see. Ricky's first RV trip. Not wrong. Not wrong. Not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay. are you behind us? Yeah, we're right behind you. How does the uh, trailer look so far? It looks fantastic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is are the lights on and everything? Yeah, we can see your brake lights. Dad and I already checked your left and right blinkers. 
Okay. Yeah, you're good to go. All right. Paul, how do you feel? Perfect. Per perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Frankie is asleep in here. There nice. we go. Thank you. Cooperating too. Nice. All nice. right. Team has made it. Stopping for the obligatory Hope Sushi experience. We net we. It's like we're getting paid to, to promote this place because we come here in like half of our videos. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Well done, buddy. All right, so this Canadream RV has been lent to us for this entire trip experience. A huge shout out to them for hooking us up. It's a very cool rig, and uh, now Paige and I are gonna give you a little tour of it. It's gonna be great. So this RV is significantly longer than the one that we rented when we went across Canada. Um, it has a full slide out section, so this here actually fully pushes out. I don't know how that all works, but I assume we'll find out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we are going to be sleeping back here in the master bedroom. Wow, this is... And Leah's parents are going to be sleeping up here. Let me film you. I'm gonna... Oh, okay. so, so this oh, is where oh, Paige and Paul are gonna sleep. Just don't film my butt <laughs> How the heck do you get up the ladder way over here? You, well, maybe you, you can like move the ladder over. I don't, I don't know. This is. <laughs> this is. <laughs> this is... <laughs> wow, okay. Well, you're I think in. There's three little dwarfs <laughs> to sleep up here. <laughs> so, three little pages, you mean? Look at this. Look at how long. <laughs> So every Canadream RV comes with a full setup, cooking utensils, all the supplies that you might need in order to cook and clean, even have dish towels here as well. One extra special part about this particular unit is that it's winterized. So this thing is rated to sub-zero temperatures, apparently to minus 30 in Celsius, which seems kind of crazy. Um, so we're going to be testing that out later when we get to the mountain. The mandatory bathroom tour. This is probably the nicest portable home bathroom that we have had so far. A full shower with a sliding nice door and a mirror that you can look at yourself filming in. I'm a little bit nervous about how I'm going to get down from here. <laughs> and what I'm mostly nervous about is in the middle of the night how I'm going to get down from here. For now. Wait, hold on. I think Oh my god. No, I have to do it on your help. No, I <laughs> oh, just pulled up to fill up the rig. It just stopped? No! 160 for a half tank! Oh my god! Paul, you want to bet how much a half tank was? Uh, $210? It was 160 bucks. Well, I was there. <laughs> so, just a heads up, if you, uh, if you do go for the rental, maybe bear in mind that you'll be paying for the gas on the way up. Holy. Sure. Yep, that looks good. It. And then we'll park on the other side of you so we've got a blockage from our doorway. Let's see, there's campers here. Uh, no, it's winter. Yeah, well, this is what gonna be us. Hi. 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 Family has gone before. Yeah. So. in this moment that this is substantially more room than we're gonna have in our trailer <laughs> we would have half this not even half this space in our trailer it's actually pretty warm in here how's the uh, top deck Paul awesome. <laughs> Paige are you enjoying your your bunk bed experience <laughs> 
Good morning, team. It's currently 7 a.m. and where we are located, it's nine below Celsius, which I don't know what that correlates to in Fahrenheit for my American friends, but it was down to minus 17 last night and we, we survived. We survived. <laughs> So this is where our RV is, with the sunrise going on in the background. This is the mountain. Like, like we are right at the base of the ski hill. The gondola is right over there to take you up. Now, as you can see over there, there is one truck back camper sitting in the parking lot. I'm fairly confident that they did not stay overnight here. And I'm shocked that we're the only ones who did. Like, I really thought that on a weekend, there would be a fair number of people camped out at the ski hill. But, but apparently, we're the only ones roughing it here in the can of dream. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at the view of the mountain. It looks so small from here. I think this is only the one side of the mountain Just you can a see. a little bit, yeah. <laughs> we're the only ones. Oh no, there's a camper over there. Yeah, but I'm not actually sure if they stayed over. Like they might have, but they also might just have parked their truck here with their camper on it. There's Cruz. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck is that? <laughs> I love that. She was born on skis, dude. There's a pizza, Paul. That's good. That's why we call you Pizza Paul. Look at this view. Holy. So we're up here with Leah's aunt and uncle, uh, Trout and Barbie, along with their son, Cruz. So we arrived late last night, but fortunately we had a fresh prep meal ready to go. And even though it was a bit exhausting making a full meal when we arrived after a long day of traveling, honestly, everybody freaking loved it. Like everybody was super impressed with the whole fresh prep experience. We will be making another uh, meal in the RV to test out that whole system, but fresh prep coming through. All right, so. We have successfully slept overnight, gone and enjoyed the mountain, come back, had a nap, and relaxed. Oh. So now we are going to show you how this winterized RV works, because it's actually pretty interesting. A lot of people were very concerned. You know, we <laughs> were at dinner last night and they're like, right, do you want to sleep in our place? We're like, no, no, trust me, it'll be warm. We'll, we'll show you how. So the first thing is that there is a big propane tank here that heats it, and it's double the size than what's normally in one of these can of dreams. On top of that, there's also a generator here. So if you run out of propane, which I'm surprised if we did, uh, we could also have the generator because we want to keep the RV at 16 degrees all the time so nothing freezes. For those of you who are wondering, we have been running this thing, keeping it at 16 degrees for the last 24, plus hours, yeah. and we have only gone down a little bit of propane. So this thing is actually incredibly efficient for what it is. Frankie, are you ready for the tour? <laughs> <laughs> that wow. kills me. Now we're inside and what I thought was going to be a very high tech, four season sort of technological innovation, um, honestly comes down to a lot of blankets. <laughs> <laughs> this, the ancient technology of blankets to <laughs> keep heat in. <laughs> so this is where the cab of the truck is normally, and this is basically just a Velcroed 
heavy blankets to keep all the heat in and the cold out. We also have Velcroed window covers here that do a surprisingly good job of keeping out the cold. And then in here, we have the same coverings over the two windows. We also have this over the vent, which normally in the summer, you'd have some nice airflow coming in. It's, it's I don't know, looks like a fancy sheep skin. It's not, <laughs> but that's what it looks like. It's yeah. soft, actually. <laughs> They're also super cozy sheets. They provided us with a whole bunch of extra blankets. We actually kicked these off in the middle of the night because it was yeah. too warm. To be fair, it was Levi, Frankie, and I in here, and Frankie is a little heater, so. Yeah didn't need that. Inside the bathroom we also have another one of these covers for the vent. And the only real luxury that you aren't afforded is the fact that this slide out, this whole section here where the dinette is, has to be kind of in in order to have the maximum efficiency. Otherwise you're just losing air out of the hole. <laughs> So you could have this open like during the day or doing other things, right? Like you could have this open and enjoying as people come and going, but at nighttime you'd want to move it in. So you're retaining all that heat. And like we said, honestly, last night, we all slept very well in here, despite the fact that it was minus 17 outside. And we made my parents sleep up there. <laughs> How was it? It was lovely. <laughs> Oh my god, buddy, you look like, you look so ridiculous in this <laughs> outfit, I love it. And honestly, if you are to overnight in a parking lot at the bottom of a ski hill, Big White is a pretty good one to do it. Right where we are is next to the gondola, which takes you up to the main village. And for boondockers, you actually have outdoor bathrooms that are available pretty early in the morning, as well as the Happy Valley Lodge, which is right there. Okay, so this is the day lodge area, so you can like come in, have your lunch. There's hot water, there's a microwave, and there's also lockers at the back, which if you were in here in your own rig, you could just like leave all your snow gear in here, it would stay warm, and it wouldn't take up all that room in your camper. This is kind of like Frankie's first real snow. Absolutely. I mean, there was that little bit on the island, but like... This is it for him. A, he, has, he has little snowflakes on his eyelashes. <laughs> it's like the sound of music. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the main village, and the great thing is where we're staying. You literally just jump in the gondola, and you're here. You're in the heart of it all. And actually, behind <laughs> us is where we're going for dinner tonight. Yeah, so we've been uh, given a reservation at the woods for the whole family. I don't know if they fully understand what it means to give this family a reservation. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh yeah, no, we'll, we'll take care of dinner for all of you. I'm like, there's There's eh. nine people coming. <laughs> Go now. Yeah, we didn't miss it. Well, we didn't miss the fireworks. So much of a visitor trap. I think we, I think we might have ruined that one. <laughs> so, as you can see, since we've been here, there's been a lot of snowfall, and they've actually completely boxed us in. So because there's a bunch of snow all over the top of the RV, our solar panels haven't been taking in any solar. So our battery has gotten low. So now we got to start up the truck to charge the battery so that we can keep this thing warm. Let's hope she starts. Well, I'm not gonna say that that was easy. I thought this might come in handy.
Look at how much snow we've gotten over the last day or two. You know, it's a solid three inches of snow. Oh wait, the RV isn't as bad as the truck is. The truck is quite stoved in right now. But I think as long as I can get this bank out, then I should be able to move it. So you get the bank out from the back? You yeah. Just back it up? Yeah, and just back it up. Okay. Yeah! Right there. Dude, that's awesome. Dude, look. Holy crap. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I guess watching a guy with a shovel trying to uh, excavate his truck and you have a giant ass backhoe. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Give him a hand. Holy. Dude, that thing is so big. Dude is very confident in his abilities to just like rip right beside the truck. Holy. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's pretty good. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Hope that she comes out nice and easy. Nice. Oh, the truck has moved. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You did it. Yeah. The the guy in the giant like snow digger thing came over with the backhoe and like moved all the snow out from behind the truck. <laughs> Oh, that's so, I was wondering how you did that so fast. No, it was great. He was awesome. Thank God we brought the truck with us. Because, like, there's no way I would have been able to clear this off if it weren't for the truck that I'm standing on right now. Look at how much snow is on the roof of this right now. No wonder our batteries are all dead inside. Okay. There, that's a lot better. Now, our battery should last through the rest of the trip. Okay, and it shows that we are pulling in volts from solar. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better now because as you can see, even right now, we're sitting slightly below where they have the recommended battery level. There's a lot of variables when you're out RVing or camping or boondocking or whatever you're doing. But doing it in the winter just means you have a few more to think about. Oh my God. Oh dude. We love snow. Dude, that's great. <laughs> wow. Here we go. Do a little jump. Try to lose his eye. He's my cousin. He's not my favorite though. So we should just leave him up here. So, even if you don't get to go skiing, at least we get to go out and enjoy some winter walks with the kid right. and and the dog. That's Jake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, National Geographic's Jakey, look out. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's really, he's really like a star of the show, that guy. Oh, Jake. <laughs> look at this guy, look at this guy. We were actually just saying that somehow we have lucked out on a winter season where there's been very little slow snow across the entire province. We showed up at Big White, got a bluebird day, and then today we have a snow day. Like, really could not have done it better. Hey, Jakey boy. 
Hey, this is Frankie's first time literally in the snow. His first snow angel. <laughs> he's oh. so upset. Oh, and then he slides. Oh, okay. Oh, well, oh, that, was just... that was a failed. That was a failed attempt. Oh, but he's happy now. Oh, my hands are so cold. <laughs> so a big part of how this trip was made possible was through fresh prep. They've already been a big hit. Two of the meals we were able to stretch from six person meals to feed nine people and a four person meal to feed seven people. And now we are making the Shanghai chicken stir fry here in the camper. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be so chaotic. My job is to entertain Frankie and tell you how great fresh prep is and mom and Levi are gonna make it for us. <laughs> Shanghai noodle chicken stir fry, coming up. Beep, beep. Fresh Rep is a bee certified corporation. They deliver across BC and Alberta, as well as right here in Kelowna. Fresh Rep is generally just a really great service uh, when you have a new kiddo in your life or you're just trying to switch it up in terms of the meals that you're making. They're fun, creative, they're super easy to follow. And I find that we're learning new skills and new recipes that we want to try again and again. Our friends have been really impressed. Yeah, yeah they I have. Feel like everybody's been really into our, that. our friends and family. What is this? This is really delicious. Impressed. Especially what was that we made last night? The shrimp, shrimp we, scampi. Lemony shrimp oh. scampi. That was a big hit. You should have heard everyone in the room. Oh, this is oh, this is so yummy. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> oh yeah, so good. Wow, those are good dishes. I'd like this recipe. And when we add the other Yeah, we can just we'll send you a picture of it. We got the shrimp scampi exclusively because it's like a weird inside joke. Apparently, there's a line in Muppet. Treasure Island. Muppet Treasure Island. Okay, where... well, I have to explain. <laughs> Muppet Treasure Island is one of our like classic family movies. We watch it all the time, and there's this great moment where all these little Muppets are in the jail, on the prison, you know, in the ship. And, and Paul, what, what is do they, they say? What do they say? They bring, they bring them. The they drive bread and, and water. water. And said, I wanted shrimp scampi. <laughs> It's a lot funnier if you've seen the clip. Levi <laughs> will edit it in. <laughs> Come on, look at this. That looks it, great. We have crafted ourselves a nice oh, yeah. little bowl. Maybe the, de the the presentation could have been better in a in a professional kitchen. In a professional kitchen, but. Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah. but this is him saying, dude, it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> All right, y'all, if you wanna check out Fresh Prep for yourself, try it out, get in the scene, try some new food, have some fun with your friends and family, uh, you can use the code Levi and Leah to save yourself a whole bunch of money off of your first order. I promise you're gonna enjoy it, and uh, you help support the channel at the same time, though. So, so, thanks for watching. We're gonna finish this and get back out there. Paige <laughs> <laughs> is just dying. <laughs> <laughs> Funniest thing I ever said. <laughs> All right, so it's our final night here in Big White. So we're not going to try and hurt ourselves on the mountain, but we're gonna try and enjoy sunset on the ice rink. But look at this view, wow. So after a long weekend of hanging out on the slopes, you know, chilling out with the family. It's just us four left and we're going for a sunset skate. Come on, how how romantic is that? Wait, you mean the five of us? What about Frankie? Oh yeah, sorry, he's he's here too. Look, at oh whoa, there's Paul. Paul suddenly, I've never known Paul to even own skates, let alone skate and handle a puck. Paul, you're finally making that Winnipeg Jets jersey work. Exactly. <laughs> hey, you two, don't get too competitive now. We don't want a scrap to break out. <laughs> Both my parents used to play hockey. That was my first job, was keeping score of my mom's hockey games when I was 10. <laughs> oh, that's so Canadian. That's like the most- I'd like climb up to the box on rickety stairs and I'd get like the hot chocolate from the vending machine. <laughs> Quintessentially Canadian. But look at these two. Now, as, we're, as I'm skating around here, it's like, oh wow, this is such a beautiful, like, Canadian moment, right? We're all skating here. But I would say half the people on the ice right now are from Australia. 
Probably more than half. I would say most people in Big White are Australian. <laughs> you just hear everybody say, oh, good eye, mate, you know? <laughs> oh, crazy, this ice is something. <laughs> <laughs> the dude at the counter is pretty good. I don't know if any of our viewers aren't American or Canadian, but this, this is what I imagine everybody imagines when they think of Canadian culture. <laughs> Yeah, so this is our RV situation right now. Gonna have to do a little bit of shoveling this morning. So we got the vehicles completely out of the snow. We were really considering putting chains onto the Canna Dream for the trip down because the last couple of days the snow has just been so thick and so consistent that like very likely we wouldn't have made it out of this parking lot even. But everything's sort of solidified, we haven't had any new snow in like 12-15 hours. So uh, I think we're going to be okay, but just going to take a nice and easy getting down the hill. One disadvantage of running the truck in the winter is that all this frost is on the inside of the windows. Yeah, it's all frost. Oh. Well, I'm so glad we're leaving today. Woo, because it's the coldest day we've been here. I can barely feel my hands right now. <laughs> and I was about to just rinse out the sink. That was the last of the water. So, wow, perfect really? timing. Oh perfect my God. Timing. We got icicles all over everything. Look at this. This is completely encased in ice. There is no way that you could open this without like chipping away all of this ice buildup. One thing about the cold too is that not everything functions the way that you hoped it would. We didn't operate the slider at any point on this trip just because we were a little concerned about ice buildup on the top there if we expanded it and then it wasn't able to close fully that's like a huge problem that we just don't want to have to deal with well thank you Canada dream you kept us warm oh and she's getting pulled out oh yeah we're good this is gonna be no problem this thing's a winter machine winter machine <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a little bit dirtier than when we first oh, got wow. it oh yeah yeah there you go <laughs> just a little bit oh man So our final moment of the trip is gonna be spent in a Value Village parking lot taking a thumbnail. <laughs> Very sentimental, um, but then we say goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Well, keep fun. going. Take it easy. Yep. Yeah, right, yeah. Let us know where you're at. Thanks for, thanks for, doing, this, for doing this. For doing this with Thank us. You. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Okay, guys, be safe. Okay. okay. Bye, guys. Thank you. Uh, you look so cute in there. Get out of here. Bye. Okay. We're um, going. Back to 100 Mile to work on the trailer. Oh my lord. Okay. The party never stops. <laughs> <laughs> you want to plug in your phone? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, and I want a muffin. Frankie, this is your first time in the shop. Making, making your presence known and appreciated. This does mean that we're gonna be cutting another hole in the roof of the trailer and making our lives a little more complicated. Wow. Oh, another hole in the trailer. <laughs> oh man.